to rum glass Colin and them Mounties too Shaul has task force protecting him Foreigners now you deporting Former ministers you hounding While real criminals have us panicking so Let me tell you, we are fed up Sing with me! And say star, we damn fed up This nonsense we can't accept You seem to be so inept You may born with sight but lack of vision Have no clue how to run the nation Is the blind leading blind administration Papi show him from Set them comedians Yeah man I can only do two verses for you of this song tonight In respect of time Okay Mr. PM Let me say this to you Listen Let me tell you what causing the crime One factor at least Unemployment PM Be in mind Leads to poverty, poverty breeds crime Give the youths them work, help stop the crisis Eradicate illegal gang practices Otherwise we may all soon fail to exist Some say that your statement in parliament How you have plenty gang was an incitement But Mr. Prime Minister, that's totally out of order You have an obligation to ensure everyone is safe in this land So let me tell you, we have Sing with me! Mr. Minister, we damn fed up This nonsense we can't accept You seem to be so inept You may born with sight but lack of vision Have no clue how to run the nation Is the blind leading blind administration Papi showing fun Set up comedians Thank you I love you people Look at people Mercy Do you feel the same way? Thank you very much I yeah, suspected that That was Quadra And he said he's damn fed up and from where I sit every single day, the whole nation is doggone fed up. And from your showing tonight, you're ready to make a difference. And we can't tell you how appreciative it is to have you here. Don't worry about it. In this world, we all make mistakes. Don't fool yourself. Nobody's perfect. But we are going to try our best to bring it back to where it was. So that we can feel live comfortable and happy in this beautiful nation of Antigua and Barbuda. Eh? When my daughter told me, call you later and tell you what you say. She told me to tell the Prime Minister to take the date out of his back pocket. I will do that for you when I call him later. Ah, uh, he called me later. Because he never called me before I know to go on up here. Yeah? You know you can call me. Oh, yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to remind you that there are going to be meetings all over in the different constituencies. And we want you all to be there in your numbers. We're going to start off on Thursday out at St. Paul's with our man out there. You know who that be? Paul Chet Green. Can you wrap up the two of them and throw them off the scene? A uh, he, Paul Chet Green. You wait, man. Them <laughs> a gang up. Make them go head gang up. We see one of them today. And he have our kind of color. So he can rally the troops. He in here some way. So he can yeah. But he can go rally up the troops. Me say. But if you can rally up troops. So what kind of color you have on day? He said no way. I said no, 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 no. You can't go rally up troops in the St. Paul's. In the kind of color day. The orange looking kind of color. Look. Just look. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends, Antigua Barbuda, the well wishers from all over the world to the Antigua Le Barbuda Labour Party, and welcome the man, Marizi, Messenia School, Messi. They used to call him, no, I used to call him No Girls, and he used to call me No Girls. Tonight, because of you, all the girls from Dong in a villa and pint area, you're not Dong, eh? I went off she in here, 
put your hands together and welcome our deputy political leader and deputy prime minister Antigua Barbuda to come, the honorable Gaston Brown. Deputy Prime Minister, Deputy Prime Minister, experience and selfless, qualified academically, this deputy leader of LP, well trained and ready to run this country with many years of competence, leadership in Parliament. He's a Moses sent for the people. Comrades, let's hear it for Team Labour. My dear comrades, I have been in politics for 10 years and this is the largest public rally I have ever seen in this country. Tell Baldwin Spencer to call elections now. Tell him to move it out of his back pocket and call elections now. Comrades, I said to you that we are better mobilized and we are better organized. And I want to show you that Labour will win the next general elections. My dear comrades, you are safer with Labour. And we are here to stop the pain. So you must vote for Labour again, my dear comrades. Comrades, this opening of the Antiguan Bob Uda headquarters, Labour Party headquarters, here at Nevis Street, signifies the fact that the Antigua Labour Party is in a state of readiness. We are in a state of readiness not only to win the next general elections, but we are ready to govern in the interests of all Antiguans and Barbudans. My dear comrades, tonight I call all of our comrades and well wishes to arms. Today, my dear comrades, we must unite as a matter of priority we must guard our lines and go after the UPP. We must end the UPP terror in this country. And I say to you, my dear people tonight, that we must go out there like a mighty army and bring the UPP reign to an end. And let me say here, we have no room for fair flutterers in this organization. You must stand firm. We do not want any cowards in this institution. So when they stop the chai beat to stop Beanie Man from performing, you got to stand up tonight and say, Beanie Man gonna perform tonight. And let me tell you this, Beanie Man gave us back our money. He's doing it for free. And he has a right to perform here. Beanie Man is a CARICOM national. He's no stranger to Antigua and Barbuda. And I want to say to the Baldwin Spencer administration, we are not afraid of you. They said Jumbin over frightened. Comrades, I want to caution you tonight. It is Beanie Man tonight. What is you tomorrow? And if you don't stand up for justice in this country, we're going to have a fundamental problem. We cannot allow them to trample on the rights of the people of this country. We have a right to free speech. We have a right of association. And I'm saying here tonight that we will stand up to the victimizing UPP government. My dear comrades, let me state here that I do not enjoy disrespecting the Prime Minister of this country. But when you try to victimize, you will see the wrong side of Gaston Brown. And I say to you tonight, between now and when the next general elections are called, you got to stand up and defend this institution. Tonight, I say to you that when the elections are called, you got to go there and ensure a victory for the Labour Party and the people of this country. And you better understand that you are safer with Labour. You are safer with Labour. Let me hear you, man. Safer with Labour. My dear comrades, 
The UPP has failed.